morning guys so i am here to do another pick a card reading i wanted to choose these um in front of you so you know that i don't see them this looks like a good one um let's go with that one all right so those are our choices one two and three for reading one two and three on this pick a card um and the question is going to be uh, is this connection worth the wait? Question is, is this connection worth the wait? And choices are going to be reading one, two, and three. Once again, reading one, two, and three. Just going to keep it simple this morning. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe, comment on the channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, currently my uh, readings, the availability is filling up very quickly. Uh, I have availability the first week in February right now. So if you'd like to schedule something with me, whether it be a life coaching session or a tarot card reading or whatever, you can find all the information on my websites, which are listed in the description box below. And once you purchase, then we can move forward with scheduling and vibing together. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the donations, uh, for the subscriptions, for telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, for the commitment, for the loyalty, for putting up with my crazy ass. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sending you all wholeness, hoping this moment finds you peaceful. We're going to set these cards down. And take a deep breath on three. One, two, three. Pick your card. Will you choose reading number one, reading number two, or card number three? Card number one. No names for them today because I chose them on camera. Card number two. And card number three. Got the titties out and everything. My kind of girl. All right. Once again, keep in mind, this is a general reading. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, like, share, subscribe. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, you got to move on. Take the pieces that resonate. Leave everything else behind. We about to get this party started. All right, universe. People who chose reading number one. Is this connection worth the wait? Is it worth the wait? That Janet Jackson song is coming to mind. Got the judgment card here as your first card. Is this connection worth the wait? People who chose reading number one. Is this connection worth the wait? Ooh, two cards fell out. I'm going to take them both. You have the star card here. And you have the emperor card here. Bottom of the deck. You have the Two of Swords. If I flip that over, you have Justice card. So there's an imbalance here. Simple, easy peasy, clap and easy. Um, so yeah, this person, I believe, is thinking about um, renewing this relationship. Um, this person is, is not one that plays a lot of games is definitely one who believes in being monogamous, believes in commitment traditionally. Um, this is someone who I feel like is very passionate about life. If you look at this card at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of swords, right? You have the blue sword and the red sword, which represents the physical and the spiritual. You see here there's red and there's blue. So once again, represents the physical and the spiritual. But I feel like these are almost trophies. These are almost like this came with this person raising or rising or elevating to the status of the emperor, right? They, these were gifts once they applied lessons. And um, you see the sun on their chest plate, um, the sphere and the ankh, <clears throat> really thinking about resurrecting life. I just set these cards down. I heard, I know you guys heard me shuffling them and I have the Empress here. That's funny. Um, yeah. 
this might be for Randy because she always gets the Empress and the Emperor. Uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> I feel like this person is considering a resurrection or resurrecting this connection. Um, thinking about <sighs> committing. The question here would be committing to who? You got two queens here. At the bottom of the deck, you have a third queen. I feel like this person before may have been a little bit of a player from the Himalayas. I said you're roaming a house. I said you're roaming a house. Ooh, ah, ooh, house. Watch your mouth. Yeah, you got the emperor here again. So this person is very calculated. Um, <clears throat> this person is attempting to figure out because they've yet to make a decision with this two of swords energy here i feel like they have met someone new is what i feel they've met someone new and they are stuck between a rock and a hard place they're not sure if you're going to cut them off um and this could be like the mother of their child or somebody from their past because you have the Queen of Cups here. This could be like a baby's mama. Interfering. And this person is really wanting to make a decision. Because I feel like this person is drained. I feel like, yeah, this person is dealing with two people from their past. And they miss both of those people. It, it, it's not just one. They miss both of those people. And it's like right now they're in the process of trying to make a decision of who they want. Or if they're just going to leave both of them you all alone and this could be you remember it's a general reading yep three of cups here look at these cards you can't make this shit up three of cups emperor queen of cups and the queen of swords then at the bottom of the deck we have the three of pentacles so this is like three people building together unless you're a polygamist unless you got some sister wives or something this person is messing with someone else this person is um trying to make a decision between you and another yep who to make the offer to between you and another or vice versa roles can be reversed so this person i feel like is praying a lot this person is watching everyone uh, very calculated emperor here twice that emperor energy is very strong very calculated um this person, I feel like this person is tied to their baby's mama because of the babies, not because of the mama. You know what I'm talking about? And so this person may um, have secluded themselves because of that. You have the judgment card here twice, but it's like the universe is bringing them out of this. Like the universe is like, wake your funky face ass up. I said, wake your funky face ass up because it's like they... You can't be the emperor and play games like this. It'll cause confusion in your empire. Right? The, the confusion in your mind shows up as your life. And this person is trying to take their time in making this decision. It's, it's almost like as they look out and, and kind of watch both of you, spy on both of you, communicate a little bit here and a little bit there to both of you. It's like they're trying to measure you all up to one another. I don't know, guys. I'm really feeling like this person is full of ego right now, knowing their status, um, and really not concerned with this Ace of Cups, <laughs> more concerned with taking this leap of faith, leaving you both. Yeah, because here's the Knight of Wands. I was wondering if that was going to show up. Here's the Knight of Wands energy. So the Knight of Wands energy is all about being sporadic, being a player from the Himalayas. Not all about it, but it can be about being a player from the Himalayas, coming and going. Um, I actually, I'm really being pushed to say that this person is not worth the wait because I don't believe that this person is going to choose you. I believe the awareness that's coming in to this person from both of these judgment cards is to take this leap of faith and go for the unknown. I feel like they're going to walk away from both of you because it's too chaotic and too confusing right now bottom of the deck i have a seven of cups it's way too chaotic and way too confusing and this person can't decide between either of you um yeah 
So I feel like they're going to take action and take a leap of faith and they're going to go off into on on a whole different path. Yep. I feel like they're going to go off on a whole different path and end this. I feel like they're going to take action towards ending this and transitioning into this full card, taking this leap of faith here. Um and making a decision that to not commit to anybody and invest in themselves, invest in themselves, invest in their empire. Um, yeah. And, and that's just an immediate, an immediate energetic kind of update. Um, cause this person is definitely holding back. And I also feel like somebody could be pregnant. There could be one of you all, one of the people that they're messing with could be pregnant and that could be throwing a monkey wrench into all the plans as well. So I really don't feel like, I feel like this person may get knocked down out of their empire. Like the universe may knock them back down to the status of a king because this person is <clears throat> an emperor is monogamous. Again, the confusion that is in your life. Um, I'm sorry, the confusion in your mind shows up as your life. So this person is not behaving like an emperor. You know, this person is too egoic and, and very imbalanced. And because of that, um, they're not applying the lessons that they learned to reach the status of the emperor. They're playing games with people's hearts and you can't do that while being the emperor. You just can't. That's just not the energy of the emperor. So let's see what this card says and if it ties in. Ready? Do, 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 do. Huh? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. See? Ha! And you guys watching me pick these uh, on camera. So you know I haven't seen this. Yeah. I think the answer to this one is no. Um... And I think it's time for you to move on. I think there's something better waiting. Let's wait a while before it's too late. All right, moving on to read number two. Universe, the people who chose reading number two, is this connection worth the wait? People who chose reading number two, is this connection worth the wait? Keep in mind, guys, if you like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. That is the six of pentacles here. Is this connection worth the wait? The people who chose reading number two. Whoa. Two cards fell out. First card is going to be the Knight of Cups. Second card is going to be the Ten of Swords here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. And if I turn that over, we have the Three of Wands here. So this person has been working towards something to stabilize this relationship um, working, working on doing shadow work, working on their dark side. You see all these cards are very dark and this 10 of swords has an eclipse up here. So all the information that you needed about this person, you had not received. And this person knew that you didn't know everything. They fed you what they wanted you to know, but they held a lot back. Um, and, and that was not to be slick or sly or, manipulative or anything like that this person is just guarded this person is guarded but guarded because their armor they have full armor on their back is to us and you see this crab is here so this person is extremely guarded when they um become too vulnerable just like the crab they have to scurry off and they protect themselves right um, maybe they're a, a soft shell crab you soft shell crab face ass not a cups um, but I do feel like the, um, this person is becoming more balanced, six of pentacles here and really coming into a period where they are removing this armor finally, um, and realizing that, um, <clears throat> that they're resilient and that the, the things, the people, the places that they felt that they couldn't trust, all the reasons why they put that armor on in the first place to protect themselves, um, that armor no longer is needed because they've released the things that no longer serve them and they came out fine, untouched, unscathed, fine, like they're good, right? And so I feel like this person 
is doing shadow work to come back around and actually show their true self to you without the without the armor yeah um i feel like this meat this matters to them greatly right it, it truly matters to them a great deal um so you guys may be on a break right now and the reason is because they are in a healing state of mind they really need uh this this period to really assess all of the reasons why these swords are there and and how they made it through i feel like this person also because of the issues that they have in their life they have bouts of depression they can be a manic depressant um yeah while they weigh up options they stay in their mind too much and that causes a lot of confusion again the confusion i just said this in the first reading the confusion in your mind shows up as your life and i feel like they're way too analytical we only have one cup card here but we have three sword cards here or two cup cards here but one is confusion and one is uh kind of fearful a little bit afraid to show or to be vulnerable moon card here so i feel like the things or the trauma that they've gone through in their lives they've kept from you they keep that a secret from you they hide that from you once again all this armor armor you got all that armor like you are armor guard truck but i feel like they're going to come out of that i really feel like this person has a difficult time moving forward into like shifting forward into removing this armor this is very difficult for them because they're not sure that you're gonna like what what you see right it's like when you see somebody on a motorcycle and they got on their their helmet and all their gear and the motorcycle is just sexy in and of itself and then you see like a sliver of their face you only see their eyes and you're like, I bet he fine because that motorcycle is fine. It's a sexy ass motorcycle. And then they tell you to pull over and you pull over and then they get off their motorcycle and they about five foot two and you six foot one. And then they remove their helmet and their head is shaped like uh, Hermit, Herman the monster or the monster. And uh, their teeth look like uh, little uh, nail files and or or some screws that go into a wall and you like oh lord get back on the bike ride off ride like the wind <laughs> so it's not that this person is unattractive it's just this person has insecurities and they doubt themselves they doubt their attractiveness they doubt their sexiness they doubt everything about themselves because of some past traumas but they are willing to work on this and i do think that they are putting forth the effort again you have this person assessing why those swords are there and how they managed to be or to escape that unscathed and untouched um but i just feel like this person sees themselves as like a page or a knight like lower than and and I feel like this person just feels like they don't fit in. I feel like there there could be um a lot of family members or something that um this person is like the black sheep. They just don't fit in. They don't feel like they fit in. And then here you come with your fine or beautiful self and it's just like, "Oh, why do you want me? Why?" They see you as the queen of wands. Very healing energy, someone who's um really nurtured and illuminated by the sun but it's a burden for them i do feel like they miss you right now i definitely feel like they're coming back um and quickly right ride like the wind yep they want to have sex with you too you do it for them sexually um this person could drink a little too much though party a little too much trying to escape this depression because again this person is a manic depressant and when they do that their world falls apart because they're trying to escape i think for far too long this person has tried to escape removing their armor um but i do feel this person is going to come back and make an offer to you um something substantial i feel like they're working on their confidence now once again i feel like they'll reach out to you maybe through like text and just be like, hey, how are you these days? And see, kind of feel you out. And then they'll move forward um, just based off that, the way that you respond. And then they'll take action. So I do feel that this person is actually worth waiting for. 
um, I just feel like this person has to recover from this, whatever traumatic experience that they've gone through prior to meeting you and loving you. Um, I just think this elevation into love, because I feel like they're falling into love with falling in love with you. I'm falling even more in love with you. So I feel like they're falling in love with you. And maybe they fucked it up before. Maybe they, I don't know, something happened to them that hurt them in the past. And that's why this is happening now prior to you guys actually committing is because they need to make a decision to heal once and for all and to remove that armor because ain't no half stepping. I'm the big daddy Kane. Yeah, like you can't have step into this relationship because you stood your ground and you made that clear. So let's find out what this card says. Do, 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 Yeah. So remember when I was talking about uh, they may send you a text message just to fill you out and they'll move forward depending upon the way that you respond. Stay light with it. Stay light with it. I think one of the reasons that this person is attracted to you is because you guys have fun together. So you got playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Ha! And that actually draws them in. You also pulled the queen of cups. So that actually draws them into you. That healing energy, right? That that playfulness, that lightness. So... Yeah, if you chose reading number two, that was for you. So reading number three, universe, people who chose reading number three, is this connection worth the wait? People who chose reading number three, is this connection worth the wait? Please be as clear as possible. Whoa. First card out is the seven of cups. People who chose reading number three, universe, is this connection worth the wait? Whoa. Whoa. Two cards dropped out. One fell on the floor. Putting those back. Something is saying put those back. People who chose reading number three. Whoa. You got the three of cups. Two cup cards. People who chose reading number three. Please be as clear as possible. Is this connection worth the wait? People who chose reading number three. Last card is the five of pentacles, bottom of the deck. You have the eight of swords. If I flip this over, you have the page of cups. So, hmm, this is a tough one. This person is very confused about love. It's that music soul child song, teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Girl, I'm so lost. Teach me I love. This person, I feel like this person may have some financial issues, right? Um, this person has anxiety um, that isolates them. Fear that paralyzes them. They isolate themselves a lot. Quite a bit. And in their isolation, they only confuse themselves more and more because they become very analytical. They they start thinking about all the shit that they did and they start labeling it as being um, or labeling themselves as being a fuck up. Um, they weigh up their options and they feel as though this is a missed opportunity weighing up their options here, feeling as though this is a missed opportunity with that four of cups feeling as though they they rejected it when they should have exalted that ace of cups. They should have uh, really had some type of reverence and um, acted upon um, the love that was brought into their life, the love that you brought into their life. So yeah, I feel like this person, um, this person feels very deeply, but this person feels like a fuck up. I don't know what they did in the past, but they, they are aware of it. They're aware that the, um, and, and I don't, I was about to say mistake, but I don't feel that it was a mistake. I feel like it was um, very egoic and it was deliberate, like, because they were acting on default, like they weren't consciously um, respecting or honoring this connection. And so you cut their ass off. You was like, mm -mm. no, ain't nobody feeling bad for you. Chop, 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 chop. Um, 
you cut them off and it took for you to cut them off for them to realize just what they had with you. Um, and now they want to come back. You see how that's facing that queen of swords. Now they want to come back to you. Come back to me. Begging you, please. They want to come back to you because they know that they've wounded you and they know that you're guarded. They really want to come back kind of quick. This one happened quick. Um, but they do want to come back into your life, into your sphere, into your presence. Um, but something is telling me this person hasn't fully learned their lesson. Yeah, I feel like they want to come back and make you a small offer. Um, maybe go out on a date, maybe just talk on the phone, maybe just text all day. But I feel like this person will leave again. I don't feel like this person is stable um, in many aspects. Financially, I don't feel like this person may bounce from place to place or job to job or something like that. There's something very unstable or unstable about their energy. Um, but they're definitely going to reach out to you. Um, they're going to reach out to you. They're going to make an offer to you, like let's hang out or let's go grab a drink or something like that. Um, but until they come up with the courage, until they remember their inner courage, their inner strength to complete this cycle of confusion um, and truly invest in something, they will keep going round and round with weighing up their options with the seven of cups, which you've had twice now. And they will continue. Yeah, they're so imbalanced. They're like juggling too many things. I, I just feel like the things that are going on in their mind are showing up as their life. And so they may make an offer and it'll be very slow moving, but they still have this five of pentacles energy here twice. So they still haven't learned their lesson on how to stabilize this relationship because they haven't learned their lesson on stabilizing themselves. They haven't gone through this assessment period to really understand what went wrong while they were tilling their garden. Um, and I feel like they want to rise to the level of the king of uh, the king of anything. Right. But I don't feel that they truly are because they keep refusing to truly go through that hermit phase to walk away and um, go on a quest of healing. They, they keep refusing to act upon that. Um, and so I feel like there someone else may come into the picture. You got the king of pentacles here. Someone else may come into the picture. And I feel like they're aware of that. They're afraid, again, of a missed opportunity with you. Um, so this one is really 50-50. It's like if this person does the work because they care about you, I do see that it could be good for you. But if this person doesn't do the work, you need to move on to this other person. Because I feel like this person has just kept you in limbo for a very long time. And you keep coming up as the Empress card. It's at the bottom of the deck here. You keep coming up as the Empress card. So it's like um, everyone sees you as they put you on a pedestal. And yeah, I just don't feel like this person, if this person doesn't take... Um, they're healing into their own hands to figure out why, th why their life is in shambles right now. Like they need to get their life together in all aspects. And I think you should give them space to do that. So yeah, I'm 50, 50 on this one. They could be worth the wait if they get their life together. If they don't get their life together, move the fuck on. Like it ain't even worth it. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Ha! <laughs> Freedom. Can't make this shit up. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So yeah, if this person doesn't get their shit together, you should move on. You should get your freedom, take back control of your life. So yeah, guys, I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. And I hope you have a great one. Bye, guys.